So I've recently finished the new book from Stuart Foster, Checkmates. Now Stuart Foster is an author that I'm um, immensely fond of. I really like his, uh, his writing style, particularly his ability to mix humour with some quite serious and um, hard-hitting themes. Um, unless, in case you haven't read any of Stuart Foster's work before, he writes um, The Bubble Boy, which is um, a book I've reviewed previously, and he also wrote a lovely book called All the Things That Could Go Wrong. They both, as I mentioned, have elements of humour, some really complex characters who themselves have personal strife and um, sort of personal um, issues to deal with, and it's sort of interwoven amongst... Um, sort of exciting adventure type stories. So those are really, really good books. Um, and this, um, this new offering, Checkmates, follows brilliantly. Now on to Checkmates. Checkmates is a book that focuses on a young boy called Felix. Now Felix is a boy that struggles at school and Felix actually has a diagnosis of ADHD. Felix really, really does um, find the classroom environment tricky. He finds concentrating very, very hard indeed. And because of this, finds himself in a lot of trouble. He's often being excluded from school. He's often being asked to spend his lessons in a certain room away from his peers. And that whole experience of school is a very, very negative one. Now, Felix doesn't have the best relationship with his parents. And he also spends a lot of time with his grandfather, who um, inevitably has to pick him up from school when he's, um, when he's been excluded because his parents are working. Now Felix's grandfather has recently been widowed and this has obviously had a very hard um, or very profound impact on him. He's lost his wife and he doesn't really seem to be wanting to um, make the most of life, wanting to move on. He keeps his curtains closed, he doesn't leave, um, he doesn't leave his property. And he is, um, he is essentially in mourning. Now, um, what his grandfather does have a very strong passion for is chess. His grandfather obviously enjoyed this immensely as a youth and seems to want to, um, want to teach Felix how to play chess, wants to uh, pass that passion of his on to Felix. Now, initially, Felix is incredibly reluctant to, um, to embrace what his grandfather is um, is trying to get him involved with, but as the story goes on, um, Felix does let his guard down, and his um, his grandfather finds more and more opportunities to um, to share that passion with Felix. What does later emerge is that Felix is actually pretty talented at chess. That um, concentration that he had struggled to find in his academic studies actually doesn't seem to transfer to, to chess. He finds himself sort of seeing chess boards everywhere. He finds himself dreaming about chess. He finds himself wanting to have a go um, at the local school lunchtime chess club and actually becomes quite good. Now, I'm not going to ruin the story because um, that um, sort of journey Felix has in competitive chess does lead to um, quite a bit of self-discovery and you see his confidence grow and you see his friendships evolve and change in different ways and also his relationships with his family develop differently as um, as his sort of journey into chess um, unfolds. There are also some um, quite revealing aspects of his grandfather that come through as this story develops, particularly um, links to his grandfather's German heritage and reading between the lines. If you, I won't spoil the book for you, but there's some quite prevalent German history links with this book, which I think um, not only make it a really good story, but make it um, a book that could be used alongside a topic quite nicely. So wrapping this up, I think it's different to a lot of books I've read in the fact that Firstly, it's got heavy themes of chess, which doesn't at all link to any books I've read. But Stuart Foster does find a way of making chess cool. Um, I actually found myself logging on and playing a bit of online chess during, um, you know, the sort of weeks that I was reading this book. And uh, I imagine um, children reading it might do just the same. I think it is a book that would fit in the upper end of Key Stage 2. I think Year 5 readers, Year 6 readers and above would get plenty from this. I think with the themes of loss, themes of um, perhaps depression that his grandfather's facing and some of the sort of um, struggles Felix is having at school and the way he's dealing with it would be better suited to slightly more mature Key Stage 2 readers. But I think strong year fours could also um, take plenty from it. 
I think there's lots that a child with um, ADHD or perhaps just some disillusioned children could take from this book as well. I think it's a book I would have gained plenty from as a youth, and I think channel channel a bit of a mouthful. I think channel channeling um, energy, focus, concentration into a passion is a really powerful thing indeed, and seeing Felix do that could be quite inspirational for uh, for young readers. So again, massive kudos to Stuart Foster. His writing style is quite unique, and I really love it, and I'm sure he'll produce many more books in the future, but that is Checkmates by Stuart Foster. Out soon, uh, 27th of June 2019, so we're looking at about eight weeks till publication. Do give it a read when it's out. Great work. Cheers.